Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to discussing about how to handle our web table. Okay, which is the table is presented like what is a web table and HTML table is means web table or HTML table. What exactly this means? Any web application it will develop by using HTML. Okay, and this any table start with the table format. Okay, and the tables and T body. T body and TRs, TRs indicate for the row. <clears throat> okay, TH indicate for header of header for table. Okay, TD it will indicate for column. Okay, this is the format it will develop by any application. Okay, and inside that web table, not for entire application, inside that we are they are going to use for web table how it looks like and if you go and here and you can able to see right and here is the one we can able to say this is a web table if you inspect this particular element you can able to see this is completely downloaded by table and t body and t rs and td and th is presented here okay this is a one format will be presented. Then how to do it? Okay, how to find the table and how to find the TRs and TDs and how we can able to do it by using Playwright. Okay, this is the simplest format of using. Okay, just I'm going to use for Control F and you can able to see here, right? And I need to find the first table. For this, I need to use a two forward slash and table. I'm going to create it for XPath for this. Okay. I'm not going to create any other things. Okay. A direct name and I can able to go ahead here and the single quotation and table. You can able to see I'm able to find for entire table now. Okay. Inside the table, what we need to find TRs. How many TRs are presented? Okay. <clears throat> you can see here there are like one two three four five six seven seven rows are presented okay how we can able to use it and here we can able to say after tr there is a td is uh, t body is presented and table after table t body you can see again the entire body is highlighted inside the body i'm going to single uh, slash and tr you can able to see total seven and we have seven rows one two three four five six seven seven rows okay in this rows we are going to get for the rows count first in this program what i'm going to do and even we can able to uh, validate in the single cell also and we can able to directly we can take the x path for that particular element and we can able to do it now i'm going to take for direct like x path we can able to see this is a second row. Second row, I'm going to mention for second row. Okay, and this is the TD location. And I need to mention for TD. You can see it is highlighted for four uh, columns are highlighted. You can see four columns are highlighted. Okay, in this what we need to take first one. And I mentioned you can able to see one out, one out of one. It is highlighted. We can take this one. Okay, and here we can able to say page dot locator and I need to mention the locator here. Okay, in this locator what I can able to make it and here I am going to make for locator name. Okay, in this locator what I can do, I can able to do for assertion whether it is presented or not. The locators we have some assertions here. Okay, they are providing some assertions to be visible that particular element is visible or not if it is visible then we are going to validating that you can directly use it for this particular command and we can able to do it if it is visible it will provide for yes otherwise it will throw for failure okay you can able to see export we have to do for this import uh, export uh, this one and then only we can able to do it okay and i'm going to run for my table 
the specific value validation. Now you can able to see here. See it is pass. The assertion is pass. Maybe you'll get it for some question if I'm going to make it for five. You can do maybe you'll get it some question mark because if how we can able to say our session is passed or not. It will wait some time because uh, playwright is having inbuilt of waiting Nick. See now it is saying that the assertion error locator expected to be visible, not visible. That's why it is failed. Okay, our expected one is satisfied. Okay, maybe you'll get it for another question. Can I do it for contains method? We have some other method, not, not to be contains text. And we have, an, again, we have to contain the text. Okay, by using this also, we can able to do it. For this, we have to use for the locator, same one, okay? And I'm going to mention here, okay, what we can able to say that in our table having this particular element we took, right? And I'm going to take this value. And I'm mentioning here. Can run it. And open this one and see. Once the execution is completed, it will show you whether it is satisfied or not. See, test case is passed still. Okay, no issues. Okay, then how to validate for uh, any one value which is presented in a table? Or I want to print for a complete table, then how, we, how can we do it? Means we can able to do it by using segregating for TRs and TDs. First, we need to get the rows count. Okay, for this, we need to get for the rows count. And we can able to row count and equal to, again, I'm going to use for page dot locator. And I'm going to mention here, dot account. Once we make the count and we can able to do it for column count also. Page dot locator. Okay, inside that what we can able to do is in the TRs I'm going to do for TDH. In the TH we can able to do four THRs are presented. Presented. I make it for here again. I'm going to do for count. Then we got it for all the values. Then can we able to rotate for one by one? Yes, we can able to do it for one by one to verification, like all the values to printing and the row in, I'm going to use for range one because we can't directly go for that. And I'm going to mention for second because header we don't want and we need to do it here. Okay. And here what I can do it. If you want header also, we can able to do it. If you don't want for headers, you can able to do it for remaining things. Okay. And here I can able to row count plus one because the range will give you minus one resolution and if you mention for plus one it will take for all the seven rows okay the range again again i'm going to use for one comma column count plus one okay now here i'm going to create for one dynamic hex path sorry page dot locator in this page dot locator, what I can able to do it, I will do it for hard coding value, like not hard coding value, I'm going to do for TD. Now all the TDs, I need to read it one by one. Okay, I'm going to make it here and I'll make for one. Here is R. Before R, we need to make it for string concatenation R because 
it will count as integer value and then integer value to string value can uh, making for that okay and then we are going to use it here td purpose closing brace and open braces and str and c is a column okay and we can able to make it for text contains what all the things are contains it will get it for the text that means it this particular element will return for some text okay and for that i'm going to mention for value okay now we are able to get the one by one value okay and one by one value after one by one value i'm going to print for one by one into a console okay and then i'm going to make it for print okay now we done for this okay and just i'm going to run it now you can see now all the things will be printed into the console place see all the values the uh, format web format it will show you right but i want to see for the table format of structure then how we can able to do it right i just we need to make it for comma and make the end and here you can able to specify how much space we want okay and just i specified here i just enter one more time you can able to see now the table format of console report it's not be the similar format of how you see into that web application little bit different but the table format of the values it will come see now table format of values it is displayed okay this is a one format we can able to do it and if you want to like if you want to do for again one more time for assertion for one particular one then we can able to do it for again i'm going to use it here and the same console like expected one we are already used here right the similar format we can able to use it but before that you have to remove this text contents okay and then you have to use for if condition and value equal to what value you are expecting okay and then end of that you need to mention for colon and you need to mention for expected one okay then once you done this particular one you have to make it for break if everything is satisfied then you can able to make it for break the loop okay then if you want to like you can just provide this is into here itself okay and just make it for not the locator now here we are going to use for value okay just you can run if it is what we had exactly done that is satisfy means it will pass it no our case is pass okay this is simplest format we can do it for by using assertions also we have a lot of assertions in uh, playwright okay you can see this is all you have you need to do for one by one to check and here there is a assertion category locators assertions and assertions inside that locator assertions that assertion by using that assertion you can able to do it and you have some other page assertions you can able to see to have the url you can, if you want to verify for particular uh, url you can able to use it and you want some other things to like title verification you can able to use it and url verification and you can able to do it like that we have so many assertions are presented one by one we can able to check it out okay that's all about this video i hope you understand and next video session i'll show you dynamic table uh, verification
okay that will help you to dynamic web application like web tables also handle okay thank you for watching please subscribe my youtube channel and don't forget to share your friends and colleagues thank you